Now, in the modern world, we've grown used to having what we want when we want it. Films, music, TV programmes, and the photos on our phones are instantly available on demand. Well, now one inventor has slowed things down with a camera which captures the sun to produce beautiful images. But you'll need to be patient, as Damien O'Neill's been finding out. We're living in an age of instant gratification. And what the youth of today don't realise, uh, something they will never experience, is walking home from the chemist with your pack of photographs from a holiday and looking through them and, and experiencing that joy from holiday or that horror, whatever it's going to be. Uh, but they'll never have that. And that's something I'd like to address. Somewhere between Kielder and the middle of nowhere lives Sam Cornwell. He has a deep interest in arts, science and astronomy... He has a telescope the size of the Hubble in his porch and strange things happen above his house. He's a teacher and wants to inspire young people in particular, which is where solar can comes in. It is typically an old workshop idea that people would be able to use and manufacture in their homes if they had the right equipment and photographic supplies. But I realise most people didn't have that sort of thing. So this is how solar can came about. After four months of driving a taxi 16 hours a day, he raised enough money for a prototype okay. and then crowdfunded enough to get it onto the market. The tab off. It's a simple pinhole camera that takes very long exposures of the sun over months or even years. Well, first of all, you take your solar can down and then you bring it indoors into some dim light. doesn't have to be a red room or anything. And you open the top of it with a can opener. And inside you can reveal your image, which will look a bit like this. This will be a negative version of the image. And then you take a photograph of that with your iPhone camera or pop it in a scanner and then you invert it, which is where you create your masterpiece. He and his wife build the cameras in his workshop and they're now sold all over the world. There's a thriving community of buyers who send in their finished images. This is shot by Daniel Monk of Kilda Observatory. It's somewhere I used to work a couple of years ago, so I got to know him. Uh, and he wanted to try out a soda can. I remember him being so nervous about how it would look, and it's turned out as one of the best from the community that I've seen so far. So this print was taken at Corbridge, down by the riverside, uh, the River Tyne. And it was tied to a tree, so the solar can was placed on a tree trunk, uh, facing south, that's important. And I left it there for two months. Uh, kept checking it every day to make sure it was still there. And two months later, I took it down and got this image. So, what do stargazers think of the idea? We went to the Kielder Observatory to ask them. It produces a fairly impressive effect for a... Um, looks like a very simple piece of equipment. It's very light and just, you kind of think, is that is that it? But it's very clever. I think it might just intrigue some kids and get them off their computers and everything else, basically get them out of the house. Sure, then what can be done? Damien O'Neill, BBC Look North at the Kielder Observatory in Northumberland. Fabulous pictures, aren't they? Right, back to sport now and confirmation.